Today we're going to do a lesson on life drawing. Life drawing is one of the most important things you can do if you're learning to draw. It is key to really making you look quickly at the figure and get the gesture, get the shapes. It trains your eye, it trains your brain to see really carefully what you're looking at so you're not worrying too much about detail but really grasping what you see very very quickly. The way you do it, the exercises quite often involve even just a few second sketches. So what you therefore don't really want to have really expensive paper this is newsprint that I've just cut up into lots of small bits. Normally I might do it a bit bigger. You can use any paper. This paper I often use. This is what Amazon wraps up your packages in. Any scrap paper that you have. It doesn't have to be expensive materials either. I use charcoal. This is very, very cheap. You can buy charcoal pencils, but I don't actually like them. I find them quite hard to use. They're a bit stiff, whereas one of these sticks you can get really nice lines very quickly and it's very immediate. This kind of darker paper, you could also use chalk. These bits of chalk I just picked up from the ground. You can draw very quick sketches with chalk if you've got a bit darker paper. Have a go at using some different materials and different types of paper. You can obviously also use pencil, but I would use a B or quite a high B, maybe a 7 or 8B, just so you can really see the dark lines. This is a 2B and you can see the dark lines quite well. I'm going to draw today from pictures on the computer just because it's easier. If you're Googling, you might want to Google dance poses or yoga poses. If they've got sports outfits, it's easier to see the shapes of the body. We're going to do really quick poses. You could time yourself. You wanting to place out within your page the shapes. It's looking at the gesture. We're not worrying about details. I might work out where the head is in relation to the space. Then it's literally, what's the shape here? We're not having to be perfect. I'm going to do it really quickly. What is the shape of this pose? So once you've got this shape, I'm just looking at a stick figure. That only took a few seconds to draw. Now I can start saying, well, what have I got right? What haven't I got right? Is the head the chin is kind of jutting up. What's the, the drama of this pose? The energy is pushing her back forward. And so this is where the real energy is. And then you've got this dynamic leg coming forward. And the foot at the back. What you're kind of doing is looking at your line. So if I had a line down here, what fits within this line. So where this elbow bends, what is in line with that? The stomach is in line with that. This needs to come forward, maybe this needs to come back. The great thing about charcoal is that you can rub it out, you can create shadows, make your picture more solid, and then start going back in with darker shapes. Already I've taken a long time, but we don't need to do this long on, this, on these poses. You don't really need to worry about details like hair. It's just getting the dynamics of the pose. This would be enough for this first one. Then we could go to another pose. Oh, I'm going to put the head in. You want to measure across from where the knee is. Where does that come on the head? This angle here, body is curved. This leg is on the right side of the head. So that helps you then to get the balance. Not all of them are going to work brilliantly, but we're just trying to capture gestures. This one, we've got the head and the shape of the spine. So I'd probably always start with the head, the shape of the spine, then work out where the limbs are going to go. And if you think about shoulders and hips, if you're drawing a stick man, and you might do it like this, a person would be more like this because you have shoulders and you have hips. So actually, when you're drawing the spine, it's easier if you imagine that you've got a wider space. This figure here, he is 
crouching and again I'm constantly saying well if I look down from the head what is in line with that section so his face is turning to the side his back is curving away from that line is there that knee is there both arms are coming down to he's standing on a box so now I've kind of got an idea of this pose you can see there's a tension in the neck and his face is turned you can see why one might use charcoal to do this because it's it's a bit easier to keep changing your line but notice I'm not drawing fingers I'm not drawing toes or any facial features this is just really quick placing in where all the body shapes are just enough to grasp the shape of the pose this has got a lovely curve I mean you could literally do this as this this would capture this pose this would be enough just to capture what shape we've got this really beautiful curve here that goes right the way around this one is slightly more angular this arm and you've got the head here and then a slight bend in this in this foot but essentially this is the shape of this pose this is the gesture that we are dealing with once you have this you can then start fleshing it out this stretch in the neck this curve in the back the strength in these legs check out this angle what angle is that where does it come down what angle is that what is in line with the foot if you go straight up from this foot what is in line with it somewhere the middle of the head always remember your body proportions when you are doing this this is halfway in your body remember that the pelvic bone is halfway in your body the head is smaller than you think don't worry if you've drawn it a bit too big it doesn't matter how many lines you do when you're doing life drawing even if you're doing it in pencil just create loads of lines we're doing this quickly and when you're drawing the head you're kind of trying to work out where is the egg shape in this where is this jawline which way is the head facing I think you can also look at the negative spaces the space in here have I got this shape correct is the shape in the back I could look at the white bits and see have I got these lines correct have I got these shapes correct okay next one keep going do lots you can get loads done you could draw people in your family you can get people to pose because they don't need to pose for very long you can see that it doesn't really matter whether this person is wearing clothes or not, or shoes. You can still grasp the shape of this pose. They're literally only taking me maybe 30 seconds to do each of these. Obviously, you can do much longer ones if you want to and sit down and, and get all the details right and really work on it. But if you're going to do that, I would still start with this stick figure even if you're going to go the whole of the next level and get it much more detailed i would still start with your stick figure like this so you can always change your paper around to the side if it would fit better into the shape always try and fit the whole of the figure onto the shape this one is this long stretch start with this then you can slowly build and then you can do spot the difference if you're doing it from life from somebody sitting there it's quite hard to do very long poses. You won't be able to do poses, poses like this because you'll have to have somebody sitting there because they won't be able to sit in this kind of pose for very long. It's very hard posing. So be kind to your family if they're posing for you or your friends. And the more you do this, the more your eye just gets in that practice, seeing where those shapes are. I wouldn't get too worried. If you're doing it in pencil, for example, you can see I'm not really worrying about drawing over lots of my lines. If you start with quite light lines, then it's gonna be easier to put then darker lines as you start working out exactly where everything is and you can then put in the heavier lines afterwards to really define your shapes. And then the more time you spend, you can get each little detail. You could start building up each detail. But life drawing is not really about getting every part perfect. It's not really the same as portraiture where you're really trying to capture a likeness of this person. It's much more about looking at spaces and the relationship to areas in the body. Don't worry too much if you don't get it right, but what's really interesting is to keep all of your pictures. Then you can see your progression from the first one to the last one, see if you've got any better. 
some of those pictures will have got better from the first one. And that's what's exciting is how quickly you can see an improvement in your ability to see and to capture. So have fun with it, enjoy it, find lots of interesting poses and see how you go.